Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate uh, all of you all being here today and appreciate the testimony that I have heard. I think that uh, Mr. Dingell's comments in regard to the circumstances are always changing is one of the reasons that uh, I feel so strongly that we ought not uh, throw coal out or treat coal as if it were uh, uh, a, a bad word. Uh, because long term, we know we've got plenty of coal. Uh, may it be a little harder to get out, but if we run into circumstances that we need it, it's, it's there. And uh, we just need to make sure we have the cap capabilities when we need it to be able to use it. Likewise, it's great that we have natural gas at fairly reasonable prices and that, that you know, I do anticipate uh, one of our, in a previous hearing, some of you may have heard this earlier, witness indicated that they thought it was going to actually hit $4 by the end of the year. At that point, coal does become uh, competitive again. And then the question becomes, you know, who wants to use it and are they going to be allowed to use it by regulations? And I would ask you all, um, and I don't care who wants to volunteer to answer this question, but we hear a lot about retrofitting some of the, the coal plants, which is a good thing, and some coal plants are fairly new. In light, though, of some of the new regulations that are out there, notwithstanding some comments this week that the White House may back off of some of the greenhouse gas regulations um, in regard to uh, power plants, how likely is it that you all would, or that you anticipate that your uh, power producers are going to be anxiously looking to find ways to retrofit coal plants in light of the uncertainty that's out there with what they might have to do with uh, CO2. You want to start, Mr. Smith? Yeah. Congressman, you raise a great issue because that's the unknown. You could retrofit to capture SO2, mercury, particulate matter, everything else that goes up that flue except for CO2 and then find yourself five or ten years from now having to make a major retrofit to capture carbon or it'd be cost prohibitive and you just have to close the plant down and then you've lost all that sunk capital. Does anybody disagree with that? Mr. Moeller, did you want to make an additional comment on that? In the Midwest with traditionally regulated states, uh, the generation owners in conjunction with their regulators have committed to retrofitting 54,000 megawatts of the 66,000 megawatts on our system. Okay, thank you. Mr. Van Wheelie, let me ask you this, just because, as, as Mr. Dingell also pointed out, sometimes pipelines aren't so popular. That LNG storage facility uh, just over the line in Canada, is there already a pipeline into the States? Yes. Okay. A pipeline that comes Because we've had some difficulty getting the pipelines across the Canadian border of late, and uh, just wouldn't want to see us running into that problem. I will tell you that I suspect that some of that natural gas comes out of a pool of natural gas that we've been trying to in my home state of Virginia now since... Uh, uh, 2004 to get permission to to explore and figure out what's out there, and, and many geologists have told us that, that that natural gas the Canadians are getting offshore is in a pool that stretches all the way down to northern, uh, or excuse me, yeah, northern North Carolina, which covers a big chunk of Virginia in that patch. We would love to have you have a source of American natural gas from just offshore. If you don't want to do it in Massachusetts, we're glad to do it in Virginia. We'd be happy to have you build a pipe. It would be great. And, and <laughs> we would love to create jobs for, for all Americans. Uh, Mr. Rush asked about minorities earlier, and uh, we just think there's huge potential for not only the United States, but also for the Commonwealth of Virginia if we can get that permission. Mr. Chairman, um, that being uh, said, um, I, you know, this has been a great hearing, but I believe a lot of the questions that uh, I would have asked uh, have already been asked, and I will yield back. 